welcome to the setup of Chibi Studio. Chibi Studio is a tool chain for development with Chibi OS pre-assembled for Windows. It is composed of free and open source tools. Search Chibi Studio on Google and open Chibi Studio SourceForge. Download the last available preview. Chibi Studio is an Eclipse 32-bit based toolchain and it requires Java 32-bit. We can download Java 32 from the official site. On this PC, it is already installed. Chibi Studio is offered in portable edition. This means that to install you just need a simple copy and paste. The archive contains a folder named Chibi Studio, in which, among others, we can find a folder named Chibios. Extract it in C, ensuring that the path of Chibios is C Chibi Studio Chibios. Finally, copy the shortcut Chibi Studio on the desktop. Launch Chibi Studio. If we have installed everything correctly, Eclipse will start with several already imported projects. Among the boards supported by Chibi OS RT, we have chosen an ST Nucleo to work with. Because of that, go to site st.com to download needed drivers. Search for Nucleo F401RE and select voice in the box titled part number. Scrolling down into related tools and software. Choose drivers for your OS, in this case STSW Link 009. Extract them and start the installation. Connect the ST Nucleo to the PC. If we have installed everything correctly, opening Device Manager, we can find the peripheral under the voice Universal Serial Bus Devices as ST-Link Debug. To check if the installation succeeds, we need to make our first flash and run. At the first run of Chibi Studio, the perspective is set as CC++. A perspective defines the setting and the layout of windows in Workbench. Chibi Studio has two preset perspectives, CC++ and Debug, both selectable through the appropriate buttons in the top right corner. The Project Explorer contains a list of all the already imported projects. Let's open the default one for our ST Nucleo F4. The flash and run requires the execution of an external tool, in this case Open OCD. Start the Open OCD on STV21 link from this drop-down menu. Then select the configuration file from the following location. If the Open OCD has been opened properly, in the console window you will find information on the target voltage and the number of watch points and breakpoints. To start the flash and run procedure, we need to launch the debug configuration associated to our project from this other drop-down menu. Perspective will automatically switch to debug. If everything has gone successfully, starting execution, we will see the green LED blinking on our Nucleo. Otherwise, you can find a troubleshoot in the related article on playembedded.org. You can reach that article just clicking the overlay link. <music> 